Hello, this is the lesson on line symmetry. Um, so you learned about symmetry in the last lesson and now we're gonna look more at the lines of the symmetrical shapes. So um, here's just some little information and tidbits before we get started. So it says um, up here that uh, some shapes have multiple lines of symmetry. We kind of talked about that before. Um, but here's a reminder. To find out the number of lines of symmetry, divide the shape into equal halves using various rotations of, of a line of symmetry. If both halves are identical, then the shape is symmetrical in that way. So what that means is we've got this A here, and, we, and I know you did that in your uh, last lesson, but uh, I don't think you can see it very well. So this is a line of symmetry. I guess technically it should be a dotted line. And so this is saying that, no, it's not symmetrical this way. Here's another line of symmetry that you always try and diagonal. This one's horizontal that you always try. This one's a no. This is a vertical line. This one is a yes, because that side is the same as that side. And then just for fun, they put this one, which isn't even down the center, so it's not even a, a proper line of symmetry, but it is not symmetrical either, okay? So you're, you're doing definitely a horizontal, definitely a vertical, and then trying a, um, a number of diagonal just to, just to see if there are different um, ways that this could be uh, symmetrical. Okay, so this lesson is really about trying to see how many ways shapes are, are symmetrical, but also finishing shapes that are symmetrical. Okay, so one way to make a symmetrical shape is to uh, fold a piece of paper in half, so if I folded this in half and actually made a line, I'm not gonna. Um, and then draw half of a shape and use a fold as one of the sides of my shape. And here's the example, here's the fold right here. There's a heart, I am sure you all know how to do this. But anyways, once you cut it out and open it up, that fold right there, that's your line of symmetry. That's the same thing, okay? Um, there is another way to draw a symmetrical shape and that is using square dot paper. I'm just gonna move the thing. And I've got steps for you. So it says, the first thing you do is you draw a line of symmetry on dot paper. I've done this for you, that's right here. So first thing you do is draw a line of symmetry, so a dotted line, straight dotted line. Next thing you do is draw one half of a shape on one side of the line. I've also done that for you, that's right here. Okay, so you've drawn one half of the shape. Next up, uh, what you do is you look and you count dots and you draw lines the same as the other side, but opposite, um, and you draw the other half of the shape. So let's do that together. We'll start at the top here. You always wanna start um, connected to the line of symmetry. And so we've got one here, so we'll go one there. Then we go diagonal up one. So there's diagonal up one. Then we go diagonal down one, two, three. So we can go one, two, three. Then we di go diagonal the other way one and diagonal the other way back. Then we go diagonal three down again. So one, two, three. Then we go diagonal up one. Uh oh, oh, right there. Just about got confused and we connect it at here. And now we have a symmetrical shape. Okay, so it's really about counting dots and making sure that we're following along. We don't just guess, we don't just count. Start in the middle of the, of the dot, start right against the uh, line of symmetry. Okay, next up, I need to move the page down again. You flip your page. Okay, so here's some practice ones. So we're doing the exact same thing as I just did up there, but you're going to try it without me first, and then you're gonna watch. So please pause the video and try both of this, this shape and this shape, and then play again once you're finished just to see if you've got um, the answer. Okay, so you should be finished this by now. Um, and <laughs> that probably sounds funny if you didn't pause, but anyways. Um, this one gets a little trickier. The easiest part is this straight line down here. So I'm gonna draw that first. So it goes three across this way. So I'm gonna go three across the other way. And then we meet, we cinch it in up here. So notice how it's one away from the line of symmetry here. So I'm going to draw a line from here 
to that line of symmetry there. Or not line of symmetry, just to that dot, I mean. Okay, next up, uh, this, is, this might get a little tricky. So let's put a dot here because I know this is also one away from the line of symmetry. And then from here, there's one, two, three dots that we draw on. So one, two, three. Oh, I guess that's four total dots. I meant three more dots. Okay, and then since we got that easy part, now all we need to do is, is uh, connect those two pieces. It's actually kind of difficult to do on the whiteboard. Um, and then all we need to do is connect the top dot up here. Whoops. It's kind of an awkward looking star thing with a weird bottom. I don't know what you want to call it, a shape. Okay, and this one right here. Also, make sure you have this because it's important that you do that. Um, anyways, we've got, we're gonna start here because I said, uh, we've got one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, all the way down to there, we're gonna go. Okay, and then we go two across, so two across here. Then we go one down, so technically one up. Um, then this goes down uh, one diagonal, so we'll go up one diagonal here. Notice I'm doing the opposite of everything. Then we go one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four dots. And it still lines up, so I know that I'm correct. And then I have to go, this one goes up one, two, three. So I have to go down one, two, three, one, two, three. Then I go over one. Then what do I do? We go diagonal down one. So I'm gonna go diagonal up one. Then I go back in for one. And then I disconnect it. So this is your shape here, uh, an interesting uh, camel reflection thing. I don't know what it is. It's fun though. But um, what you need to do is your assignment. And if you have extra time, then do this fun activity. It's sort of a math and art combined. Um, and what you need to do is finish the owl um, using the reflection strategies that we just used up here.